Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Big shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. Things are just getting crazy. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you do that. Let's get straight into it. Little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. And me, my number one golden rule, because I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt, is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that, especially in cryptos, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research. All right, formalities are out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot happening in this crypto space in the last 24 hours. It changes every single day. It's absolutely crazy. You've got XRP and Ripple announcing their, you know, their Q1 of 2022 earnings, which is just insane. Not many crypto projects do that. So it just goes to show how reliable they are and how they are being very transparent right here. It's crazy. We'll get into that in a second. Obviously, you've got some news in regards to the SEC now putting on more staff, building up more in enforcement and teams with the crypto space. It's absolutely wild. Let's go to the community tab. Yes, this is crypto's um, OTC, COTPS. This has been absolutely incredible. Um, again, I woke up this morning at 7.30 in the morning. It had made 112 USD tether overnight, basically waking up into uh, this morning with Australian dollars value of $158. Now that's incredible. That is compounding literally at 3% per day. Again, I've taken my initial investment out. It is very risky. But again, it's been making me some nice profits. And that is because I'm making all the cycles using the iMacros automation bot. So again, we'll get into that in a second. I'll show you what's happening in that. Obviously, this is in relation to the SEC. Have a read of this. In power, in a power move to rule the entire crypto space, Gensler's literally gone powered crazy. You know, when people like, and you see back in the day when like kings and you know rulers and Roman emperors and stuff just went nuts with power. This is what's happening with Gensler right now, straight up. So obviously the entire crypto space sideline the CFTC and preempt uh, congressional uh, action regarding what agencies should oversee crypto markets. Gensler nearly doubles the size of the enforcement uh, crypto asset and cyber unit. Things are get, about to get rough right now. There's a lot of uncertainty out in the crypto market. And again, this just does not help. The guy's gone power crazy. He's gone straight to his head. He's crazy. And obviously, these are my gainers today. You've got TRX, XDC, CKB, Nervous Network, and The Graph. So that's pretty bullish as well. And again, I'm dollar cost averaging into this market because there is some credible buying opportunities. Now, if we go to CoinSpot, yes, this is where I buy my cryptos in Australia. Uh, obviously, there's a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You can get $10 in Bitcoin. Uh, please be careful. All these prices are in Australian dollars. So we'll have a look at this at the moment. Bitcoin's sitting at $54,000 today. Ethereum's at $4,000. XRP still an incredible buying opportunity at $0.88. Cents. We'll get into some updates about their Q1 earnings report of this year of 2022. Uh, Solana's at $124. Luna's at $119. Cardano's at $1.12. Doge is at $0.18, cents, AVAX $0.86, Polkadot $21, Shiba Inu is down. I'm still holding my Shiba Inu. Polygon Matic is $1.56, Near Protocols at $17, up 1.36%. Tron's doing nicely at $0.10, cents. Crow's up 3% to $0.42. Cents. Keep scrolling down here, guys. Algorand is up, still up from set yesterday because of the announcement with FIFA, and we'll get into that in a second. It's up to $0.96. Cents. That's still bullish as well. It did come down from its 20% high yesterday. Stellar XLM is at $0.25. Cents. V chain is at six cents. That is an incredible buying opportunity. I'm going to be buying some more this week. Hadera is at 20 cents right now. It keeps going down to my other favorites right now. Axie Infinity is down 3.44% to 42 Australian dollars right now. That is down significantly. Obviously, when I bought it, I sold out of my Waves investment. I put the money into Axie Infinity, have been staking it ever since, receiving about 78% APY. But again, CoinSpot has just changed this whole staking thing, and I'll get into a whole article about that. Uh, you've got IOTA at 73 cents. You've got Waves down to $17. Neo's at $25. Quant is at $134. Now, that is incredible. I'm going to be adding some Quant to my portfolio this week for sure. You've got Gala at $0.19. Cents. Keep scrolling down here. XDC's up nearly 3%. So that is bullish to $0.09. Cents. Still incredibly undervalued. And of course, Rose at $0.24. Cents. And my other one is Reef, which is again, literally a cent. So again, I think DeFi is going to make a massive comeback this year. Now, let's go to uh, Crypto Bubbles to see what's happening here. 
on the day. You've got uh, Algorand, which is still the number one today at 7.9%. It is down on the year, but guys, it's been an incredible project. I think it's only going to get bigger, obviously with ISO 222 and the announcement with FIFA, which is massive. So we'll get into that in a second. Curve, obviously, the Graph, Helium, Crow, XMR, Monero, XDC as well. Excuse me, that's just really bullish as well, up 3.4% on the day, 17.5% on the week. On the month, 7.5% on the year, it's still down 37 or basically 37%. So it hasn't been that crazy, but it's been a nice return. I think, you know, this is going to be an absolute monster of a project, just pending some more further news and updates. I'm just dollar cost averaging into it. It is literally the only ISO 222 compliant project. Um, again, going off to trade finance, which is a trillion dollar industry, multi-trillion dollar industry. Again, it's definitely very undervalued right now. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's go to Crypto's OTC. Yes, this is my portfolio. Going to refresh this now. Again, it has made me 112, 126 USD Tether, which is unbelievable. It's incredible, guys. Again, very risky. I'm. If you're interested in this, please feel free to check out the referral link below. Do your own research. Again, only invest what you can afford to lose because this stuff is extremely risky. I can't guarantee the website is going to be up tomorrow. I don't know. I'm taking out profits daily from this. And again, it's incredible, guys. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. I mean, passive income, this is unbelievable. Here you go right here. You can see the actual passive income returns from this. 125 USD tether today, 134 yesterday, 126 the day before, 124 USD tether. Yes, I put in and invested 1,095 USD tether, which was a lot of money um, to take a risk. But again, you know, I took that risk and gamble. Yes, the commissions are being paid based on top of people's profits. So again, I don't earn those commissions unless people are profiting. That's straight up. So everyone that is using this has been profiting, which is unbelievable. And please, if you are using this, take profits. Don't leave anything in there that you can't afford to lose. Take profits daily. Again, do your own research and due diligence. This is at your own risk. But guys, this has been unbelievable. I can't put it into words. 7, 4,800 just changed right now. So again, that's insane. So I'm I'm probably going to hit 5,000 USD Tether in the next few days. So I'm very bullish on this. And yes, I have been able to withdraw daily from this. So again, no questions. And obviously when I withdraw, it's to a TRC20 wallet. And obviously if you're wanting to do this, make sure you've got all that set up. Always check the wallet addresses as well. Double check them, triple check them. You know, I, I, I've personally lost money from getting the wrong chain, uh, you know, BEP20, ERC20, all that stuff. And again, just be careful. Check your wallet addresses when you're moving money in and out of this. Again, you need to do that. And again, I'm avoiding ERC20 because it's extremely expensive. And uh, yeah, so pretty much I'm using BEP20, which is Binance Smart Chain and obviously TRC. So the, the exchanges I'm using are CoinSpot, uh, Binance, obviously, uh, Gate.io, which has been nice. KuCoin I've used. I've seen a few other ones, uh, other comments. People have been messaging me and I've been talking with everyone on Twitter and uh, Instagram. So please feel free to follow me on those. And uh, I love talking with people on there. But anyway, keep moving on, guys. Again, link below. I'll put up a video on how to set this up. Please do your own research. Never invest more than what you can afford to lose. Never do that. Only invest what you can afford to lose with the mindset that that money's already gone. So that's that's basically what I had. So anyway, moving on. Bullish on that. Obviously, you've got the Q1 2022 XRP markets report. This is incredible that a project in itself does this. It's unbelievable. So this is a full-blown report uh, for the first quarter of this year. And again, Ripple has just been going nuts overseas, not in the United States because it's being held back. So Ripple publishes the quarterly XRP markets report with volunt um, voluntarily to provide transparency and regular updates on the company's views on the state of the crypto markets, such as the quarterly XRP sales, relevant XRP related announcements and the commentary on market developments over the previous quarter. So again, crypto markets sold off in the first quarter of 2022 due to a combination of regulatory, macroeconomics, and geopolitical factors. There's a lot going on in the world at the moment. It's crazy. Many speculated that record inflation rates and the Federal Reserve rate, uh, first rate hike in the three years were the main narratives driving the trading activity and smart uh, at the start of the quarter. By February, the market's attention shifted the focus to the growing tensions between Eastern Europe. That's terrible. And obviously, Russia and invasion in Ukraine. Uh, by March, the focus was on Biden's long-awaited executive order on the crypto markets, evo ev evolving regulatory landscape in Europe, such as the MICA regulation. The EO received a generally positive reception from the crypto industry, helping spur the rally uh, seen at the end of the quarter. And that, obviously, we all knew that. 
They're going in here in relation to the NFT spotlight. Go and have a read of this, guys. I mean, this, they're even mentioning Board Ape Yacht Club on this. I don't know why. Uh, went beyond flipping punks this quarter with Yuga Labs acquisition of IP rights, crypto punks, uh, and me bits as well from Lava Labs. The transition transaction put the spotlight on IP ownership. Keep going down here, guys. The XRP Ledger since launch of the Creator Fund, Ripple has received over four thousand applicants. Uh, for the NFT projects across gaming, metaverse, entertainment, art, and NFTs on the XRP ledger. That is bullish. Let's keep scrolling down here right now, guys. The XRPL interoperability. Saw cross-chain bridge integrations with multi-chain and Allbridge, both of which allow XRP holders to move their XRP to 12 different blockchains, including Avalanche, Phantom, Solana, as well as uh, move the top coins from these chains on the XRP ledger. That's bullish as well. Decentralized exchange, it is decentralized. I mean, this is the reason why I love it. Global regulation, last quarter, Ripple launched a policy pep paper in South Korea outlining recommendations for policymakers. Let's keep scrolling down here, guys. There's a lot on this. So Q1, update on the SEC lawsuit against Ripple. This is still up. So on March 11, the court denied the SEC's request to strike Ripple's fair notice defense, recognizing that there is a serious question on whether Ripple had fair notice that its distributions of XRP could be perceived to violate securities laws. So the expert discovery deadline was uh, reopened by the court on May 13th to allow Ripple time to depose one of its SEC's experts. Uh, who served the late filed report on April 11. Judge Netburn denied the SEC's request. So obviously this is going into the case right now. Let's keep scrolling down right here. There is a chart here, uh, Ripple volume and price. There's been a lot of volume right here on the XRP guys. So that's bullish as well. You can see right here, it is still increasing right now. Unbelievable guys, I love it. So the price remained beyond buoyant right now, staying largely in the range. Uh, bound for the quarter compared to the large tokens despite declining volumes and in the face of broader macro macro crews obviously um escrow as well so released uh you know three billion xrp were released out of escrow in line with prior quarters uh, and the official escrow arrangement in total 2.4 billion xrp were returned and subsequently put into new escrow contracts throughout the quarter Building the XRP Ledger community, guys. So last quarter, there were a total of 140.8 million transactions on XRP Ledger with $61 billion via the 80.8 billion XRP in volume. So again, just imagine what's going to happen when this case is out of the way. The amount of volume that's going to happen between financial institutions and central banks. Boom, it's going to blow your mind. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm not going to get into all of it because it's just massive. Now, obviously, you've got here, this is interesting as well. And wait for it to load right here because it takes its time. Basically, it's uh, and how to buy XRP in the UK. Uh, it's not working right now. We'll move along. So at last, the secret to making money from investing in XRP Ripple. Finally, you've got Algorand here scores the FIFA partnership as well. Algorand price surges. So the blockchain will be the regional supporter for North America and Europe at this year's World Cup and the official sponsor for next year's Women's World Cup. That is massive right here. I mean, the World Cup is the biggest, you know, sporting event, literally, like, it's huge, massive. So, again, for them to score that is probably the reason why. Um, obviously, we've got here FIFA's soccer global governing body locked in Algorand as its official blockchain partner before the World Cup competition starts in November in Qatar. And obviously, guys, you've got here right here, it, I think they're going to be helping them with NFTs for all the soccer players and the teams, merchandise. This is the reason why Algorand's absolutely pumping right now. So again, keep an eye on Algorand. Dollar cost averaging into it again. It's a massive project and very bullish on that as well. This is in relation to the SEC right now doubling down on their size of their enforcements. This is their press release right now. So check this right here. here. So they've allocated... Uh, so the Securities and Exchange Commission today announced the allocation of 20 additional positions to the unit responsible for protecting investors. Protecting investors... How about you've uh, completely destroyed people's investments? How's that helping investors? Anyway, uh, to the unit responsible for blah, 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 the newly named crypto asset and cyber unit, formerly known as the cyber unit, in the division of enforcements will grow to 50 dedicated positions. So again, they're just increasing their positions right here. They are going to hit the crypto space very, very hard. And uh, again, this is why Ripple is fighting them so much and they are not giving up because Ripple is going to be the savior in the entire crypto market. They are fighting for everyone. So keep an eye on it, guys. It's bullish. This is interesting as well. 
Uh, this is on uh, News BTC. ADA on a discount. Cardano Wales go on a $200 million shopping spree. Cardano has been on a steady downtrend se since September 2021 uh, after hitting its all-time high at uh, $3.01. This has been the most brutal downward trends in it as investors and the majority of which are now are drowning in losses. I hope that doesn't happen. This is why I never invest more than what I can afford to lose. However, as they say, one of the man's misfortune is another man's come up. Whales have been since uh, seen this as a perfect opportunity to buy as much ADA as they can. Massive, guys. Whales buy 194 million Cardano ADA. Again, I've seen some pretty crazy price predictions in the triple digits. So again, I like Cardano. Again, it's nice. It's got incredible utility. Layer one, a lot can be built on the Cardano network and chain. Bullish about that. Now, moving on, this is on CoinSpot. Yeah, this is in relation to the CoinSpot earn frequently asked questions. There's a lot happening right here. Basically, this is what it is. So what is it? CoinSpot earn program, this is for us in Australia, is a process where users are able to earn a percentage reward on their coin holdings over a period of time. With CoinSpot earn, users can lend their coins to CoinSpot in exchange for a fixed rate interest payment awarded to users from the form of the coin lent, in the form of the coin lent. So again, I don't know why they're doing this. I reckon there's some regulatory stuff going on here, just saying. But again, I did speak to customer service here on the chat and they basically said, once you've switched over to earn, you will not be able to switch back to staking. I'm looking into this further. Obviously, there's still the same coins right here, which is great. But again, there's a serious risk involved with this. So check this out here. What are the risks involved? When you lend your coins to CoinSpot for a length of time, the loan uh, of the uh, loan, you will lose all rights, title, interest across the uh, those coins. If CoinSpot becomes insolvent, this is why you should never keep your cryptos on exchanges because if they become insolvent, your coins are gone. There is a risk that you may not be repaid in full or at all from your lent coin. CoinSpot will do its best efforts to ensure that this does not occur. However, this is a risk each user must consider before opting to into earn. I mean, it is what it is. So that's pretty uh, pretty full on right there. I'm still looking into that in detail. I did not switch over to earn, just saying. Let me know in the comments below if you have. Uh, on CoinSpot, for those of us in Australia, let's refresh cryptometer.io uh, to see what's going on here in the market. Obviously, you've got XMR, BTC, uh, UST, SLP in the last hour. Let's have a look at this. You've got NIR and TRX. And again, they're pretty much the gems as well. I think NIR protocol is definitely undervalued. If we go to Twitter right now, to see what's happening right here. South Korea finance minister wants to delay Bitcoin and crypto capital gains and tax until 2025. I mean, that's cool. 99% of XRP haters missed Bitcoin and then they will miss XRP as well. I agree. Jack the Rippler. Crypto exchange OKX has announced a sponsorship deal with F1 McLaren Racing. F1 McLaren Racing. I love Formula One. There's a lot of crypto stuff in Formula One at the moment. You've got New Ripple HQ building. They have just leased a new building in San Francisco. So those of you in San Francisco, go and have a look at it. It'd be pretty cool to get some photos of that. Uh, that is it right there. So thank you, Leonidas, for that one. CZ, there are two types of people. Those who that know they need Bitcoin and those who don't know yet. Don't know it yet. Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 27 right now. And again, Jeremy Hogan said basically in this message on uh, this tweet right here, finally, I feel like Ripple has taken the gloves off and he's talking about how ridiculous the SEC's litigation tactics around the Hinman emails are. They are delaying this like crazy. The judge may still allow the sir reply, but at least Ripple is calling out the delay tactic strongly. This is James K. Filan. Solomon comes out swinging in opposing the SEC's request to file a reply brief. The SEC requests leave to file what they term a reply, but... This would be the at least the SEC's sixth filing in opposition to defendant's motion to compel. They really do not want these emails to come in. You know, I'm surprised no one's actually hacked the SEC to get it. Just saying. Pretty full-on stuff right there. Keep moving on. This is uh, Ashish Birla right now. This is from Ripple. RippleNet reached a $15 billion annualized payment volume run rate as customers expand the use of RippleNet on-demand liquidity beyond remittances including treasury and SME payments. Have a look at this volume, guys. Look at the on-demand liquidity. Look at that. 23rd of uh, the 1st of the 3rd, 2022, guys. That is insane. Look at that massive rise. It's only the beginning for Ripple. That's why I'm bullish. That's in relation to the case. Coinbase CEO says 1 billion people will have used or tried cryptocurrency within the next 10 years. We're just getting started. Ethereum domain name, abc.eth, just sold for 90. Ethereum at 254,000. That is ridiculous. 
Obviously, you've got here, who funds the organizations that want to control your access to information? Let's investigate. Elon Musk is on a rampage right now. Johnny Deaton, remember my prediction of exchange being sued by the end of the summer? When it happens, I'm not a, I'm, uh, not a clairvoyant. It was 100% predictable after reading the complaint filed against Ripple and XRP. With shady way the case was filed on Clayton's last day after the meeting of Gensler. Now, this is incredible as well. Vitalik Buterin has come out saying the cost of sending Ethereum and swapping tokens needs to be below five cents to be truly acceptable. The it's cost I've lost thousands in gas fees, and I'm sure a lot of people have as well. This is again fintech Ripple leases entire new building, obviously in San Francisco headquarters right now. SEC who Ripple is doubling down in the U.S. That is bullish news for that one right here. Gold, basically, thank you, digital asset investor, for this. Basically, going from fifteen thousand dollars an ounce to forty thousand dollars an ounce. Gold's going to go crazy right now. This is an interview with Elon Musk. Have a look at this around town and around the world, and maybe on Twitter. I don't know. Social media is kind of going bananas over you right now. I guess that's uh, yeah, that's probably true. There are some critics out there that would say, "Why not?" Critics? You? What? Can you? I can't believe this. None. Oh my God. Zero. Zero. Oh, thank goodness. Here, yeah. for a second there, I was worried. But there have been some folks that have spoken out and said, why didn't you use the money that you purchased Twitter with to do something for charity, philanthropy, more good with that money? Well, I do do a lot of things uh, philanthropically. Yes. Um, and um, really, uh, th you know, my, th th my companies are intended to uh, do good for the future of humanity with the uh, Tesla trying to accelerate uh, the advent of sustainable transport and, and energy. Uh, and SpaceX is uh, providing internet to the least served people around the world. The best space um, company in the world. I know. <laughs> in the world. And also what you've done for Ukraine as well during this. Time. Yeah, absolutely. So we're able to help Ukraine with the Starlink terminals um, and uh, give them uh, connectivity in, in uh, particularly some of the hardest hit areas. So, you know, I, I, uh, aspirationally, I am trying to do good for uh, humanity and, and the future of civilization. Where did you get this mentality? Where did your son get this? Why not? He's a legend. Protect him at all costs. I agree right now. Joe Rogan, Bitcoin reminds me of how in the early internet right now, they tried to stop it. And now that it's a viable currency. Again, that's facts right there. Joe Rogan, again, the SEC hires 20 more lawyers and staff to crack down on crypto. So that's probably the reason why there's a lot of fear out there at the moment. Top two banks in Argentina will offer customers Bitcoin. That is bullish. Dubai's virtual asset regulatory authority will establish headquarters in Sandbox. That's unbelievable as well. $13.1 trillion was paid in Bitcoin last year. That's 20% more than the value of payments settled by Visa. Gain. So early in this space, it's crazy. Hester Pierce saying that the SEC is a regulatory agency with an enforcement division, not an enforcement agency. Facts. So why are we lending, leading with enforcement in crypto? Because they are trying to stop people from making, uh, get, getting ahead in life. That's facts right now. Honestly, it is. Let's go to the total market right now in US dollars. And let me open this. $1.7 trillion today, $72 billion in volume. It is down a lot today in the red. 19,240 cryptocurrencies, 42% BTC, 19% Ethereum. The gainers today, Algorand, of course, Crow, Tron, Helium, Monero. That is pretty much it, guys. And if we go to my portfolio, I'm going to show you this right now. I'm not going to go through it all. But again, this is my portfolio right now. And if I go sort by... Uh, market cap, that's a definitely easier that way. Let me just go do it again. Boom. So you got Bitcoin at 37,000 US dollars right now. So it is down today. XRP is at 60 cents. Cardano's at 77. My other favorite's a new protocol at $12. If you're going to add more of that, Stellar at 17 cents. Hedera's at 13 cents. Keep scrolling down here. Of course, you've got Axie Infinity at $29. That is down a lot. There's some great buying opportunities. XTC is pumping today, which is nice. Six cents, still cheap in my opinion. XYO is at one cent, obviously. Reef under a cent. You've got uh, Veracity at one cent right now. Star Atlas is at one cent. I remember this was like 25 cents. So again, definitely some opportunities now. That's going to go crazy when the gaming comes up, obviously. And I just want to point out lastly, to end off on this video, this is Bitcoin right now uh, trending sideways. It has been going there literally all this year. Look at that. That is on... Um, trading view right now and yes i've got my indicators all over this and by the way for those of you who want to know what indicates this is a buy and sell if i go here right now my favorites this is the chandelier exit by everget that's pretty straightforward using that with the zs zl sma uh verified right there indicators 
I've put them up before on my channel, but they're the two indicators I'm using, obviously, with the RSI, which is, hasn't been overbought or oversold, just trending sideways. I just wanted to flag that with you guys because that's been insane. Look at it. It's literally going flat, flatlining. So is this the bottom? Let me know in the comments below. It'd be interesting to see. All right, guys, stay safe. Have a good day. We'll speak to you soon. Peace. Bye.